Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you are aware of my last video, I received positive um, test after my um, miscarriage. And this morning I'm going to do, I've just finished a night shift, so excuse me for not doing a face-to-face -face video. Um, but I just thought I'd, I'd, I'll dip these in a minute and have a chat to you. Um, but this is the first one at 8 DPO, which I don't think you might not be able to. It doesn't focus really, but you might be able to just see it. It's it's about there. Um, but I got that in the morning, and then that one was the morning of 9 DPO. And then yesterday, um, I was so excited about that um, it was a definitely a positive that I went and got a digital and would you believe by that afternoon I got the pregnant one to two and I never got that until I think I was usually 12 DPO and I don't know I just had a feeling and um, yeah they come up one to two weeks so I will talk about that a little bit more, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is dip an ovulation test, and I have actually been dipping these ovulation tests, and they actually haven't been coming back as a positive, so I'm not sure if, um, you know, people say that it, it comes back as a positive, you, you know, then you're pregnant, but we'll see how this one goes, but last couple of days I haven't had anything, so this is the internet cheapy. One, two, three, and then I shall dip another first response as well, if I can get the lid off, and one, two, four, five, okay, and we'll wait for that to come across. Uh, in the meantime, I have been feeling, especially in the last 24 hours, pretty sick. Um, nauseated from basically, um, it hasn't stopped. Um, I've just been feeling constantly sick and I've never had this with any of my pregnancies, uh, successful or not. Um, I have uh, actually have twins and I didn't even get morning sickness with twins or anything like that so I'm not sure what's going on there but already at uh, 10 DPO today I'm yeah already getting that really bad morning sickness I did get I was getting a lot of cramping in the last couple of days like period cramping just a lot and I was getting left like ovary pain um, but I've also been getting right ovary pain so it kind of makes me a little suspicious with these dark early response that could I be possibly having twins again I'm not sure um, as I've had them before but yeah I'm not sure I'm not sure um, I did get a progesterone done at day 21 and it was 57 and I didn't even get that with when I was 11 weeks pregnant oh it didn't my progesterone was only I think the highest it got at 11 weeks I think was 48 um, and it's already 57 at 7 DPO so that's extremely high for me um, um Tomorrow I've got a doctor's appointment, so I'm going to go get my first HCG level done and another progesterone level. So we'll see what that says, and then I'll get another one done because of my history. I'd say I'd get Wednesday and then Friday done as well, and I'm going to get him to give me the progesterone level uh, for Wednesday and Friday as well. So I will update you guys with that. So you can see today is 10 DPO and this is the first time actually this ovulation test is coming up darker. Hasn't really come up darker. Um, while I let that sit for the three minutes, I'll also pull apart this one to two 
one to two weeks that I got at nine DPO and see what see what that um, looks like um, because we all look at those lines we all, all open them up and have a look at those lines as well there's that 6 a.m. 9 look again or you might be able to just see it and I actually have one at 7 DPO that's got like when you pull it apart it's got like the slightest faint line so it'd be interesting to see am I having one or am I having two um, I haven't had I haven't had any fertility I was actually going to go this month to a fertility specialist and obviously fell pregnant first so um, I think lucky for us all the vitamins that we've been taking I'm hoping this is a sticky bean and what I will do is I'll pause this video and just open up that clear blue okay so I've opened up the clear blue and I'm not sure if anybody else knows I've actually done this on other videos but I'm not sure if like that's the pregnant and that's how many weeks I have no idea um, but that's what I got at nine days past um, so if you want to compare with yours I'm not sure I just thought I'd open it up so it still says on the top you can open it up without taking out the screen so if you want to keep it and again it's got darker this is just the cheapy I don't even know what this measures in it actually looks darker in person and this one is getting darker and darker um, by the minute it feels like I'll just comparison with this one so this one here the lights terrible but you can tell you know that's a big difference 9 DPO and this is 10 DPO so I'm going to do another test in the morning and for 11 DPO and I'm only doing this because um, well definitely because of my miscarriages and I want progression but also because I'm having my HCG levels done and progesterone done tomorrow so I just want to see what the line looks like um, when I get the levels back to give an indication on how everything looks. Um, it looks nice and strong. I think I have one from previous pregnancies that was like that at um, at least 12 DPO and it's only 10. So we are so, so happy and grateful that we have another chance and... Um, I'm hoping that my levels are really good so cross your fingers and I'll make another video tomorrow there's that clear blue one again my temperatures are still up there still 36 near 36 um, 8 so which is excellent so I'm very happy with that Okay. So yeah, I'm so happy with that. That is fantastic. Okay, we'll speak to you tomorrow.